Well, here we are uh, back on the World War II aircraft I built. This is a Spitfire, as you can see if you know anything about airplanes, it's a Spitfire. Nice wings. Very. This is probably a Mark II, uh, not Mark II, a 1A, because the Mark I had a different cockpit and only two propellers, so Mark 1A, the earliest ones most people see. Uh, it's an Airfix kit, 172 scale. Uh, propeller goes round, just about. So, um, what can I tell you about it really? Not a lot. Um, the particular example has a mark in saying the observer core on the side of it. Um, my grandfather was in the observer core, so that's why this particular scheme is special to me. Um, and the side you've got the green. Um, underside later in the war it's a grey one there's a nice bolding of the wheel uh, wheel uh, recesses and you don't have the uh, gap you used to get between the wing and the other wing you've got a nice little encased wheel well there uh, fixed tail wheel Not a bad kit. I've um, put a little silver dot there with the uh, cap. I don't know if that needs to be silver, but that was my artistic license. Uh, main problem with these kits would be the thin black line decals and applying them carefully. Mainly get the get the de decal back in and pull the back in off holding the decal in place is probably the best way to do it or if, you've, if you're in the mood it's just uh, mask it off and paint it with a thin black line um, very simple kit uh, easy to put together I haven't got the antenna wire between the mast and the tail but that's something you can add if you want to uh, super detail it. I've used uh, dark dark red paint to represent the uh, I think it was either sticky back paper or something covering over the gun ports uh, which obviously were shot through when the guns were used in combat. But that's the first of my Spitfire models to show you and uh, Right, I've got another food to show you later in the series.